The Thunderbirds are the elite flying team of the United States Air Force. They travel the world and they're called the Ambassadors in Blue. Enid Buzz was honored to be chosen to ride with the Thunderbirds in Enid, Oklahoma. But first, I had to learn to deal with the forces of an F-16. I first met with Major Christopher Scheibler, flight surgeon, who talked me through everything I was going to experience in the plane. He talked about the dynamics of the airplane and the effects the G-forces have on the body. A successful flight with the Thunderbirds entails pulling nine G's, and there's only one way to do that without passing out. It's keeping the blood in your head. After learning those techniques, I was ready to lace up my boots and get my gear on. I was then fitted for my G-suit, a garment with pressurized pouches that inflate when we start to pull G's. Then came the part that I really like the most, the patches that they put on your flight you suit. honorary Thunderbird today, so awesome. it's official there. Awesome. Pretty, baby. Pretty cool. Not very many people get to wear that patch. It's a pretty, pretty big honor. What? After gearing up, it was finally time to meet my pilot, Major Kevin Walsh, Thunderbird number seven. Major Walsh hails from New York, and he explained to me that we would be doing every maneuver that's done in the show. My briefing with Major Walsh entailed safety and communication. We had to be able to communicate for the ride to continue, and I had to know how to get out of the plane in case of an emergency. There was a lot to learn in a short period of time, but Major Walsh wanted me to know that I didn't have to memorize everything. All of my briefings lasted a couple of hours, but then I was ready to go. Get in the good body position that these guys uh, have briefed you on. Okay. And that's my key. We headed to the flight line and it was time to get my gear on again. They even had my name on Thunderbird number seven. At this point, there was no turning back. I gave my thumbs up and I was ready to roll. To complete the takeoff we were about to perform, we needed to reach a speed of 450 miles an hour. We would then sail into the sky 16,000 feet. I was always given plenty of warning of what maneuver was coming up, and as Major Walsh would say, here come the G's. It was now time to perform some of the big moves. These were the loops.
it was then time to move on to the solo moves of the F-16. First up were the rolls. And here we go. We were then on to more capabilities of the F-16. Here came the G's for a bomb burst. hanging upside down and enjoying the beautiful view. That was it for the show maneuvers. It was time to kick into 9G's. It was then time for me to take the jet for a spin. And Major Walsh wanted to buzz the Vance Air Force Base one more time to let everybody know the Thunderbirds were in Enid, Oklahoma. Just like that, my ride of a lifetime was over. I was back safely on the ground, and man, did I have some stories to tell.
I then very proudly waved my empty air sickness bags. You know, man, give me those. All right, fresh, clean bags. That's awesome. That's what I like to see. All right, you ready to get out? I'm ready. All right, do me a favor. Climbing out of that airplane, I had such a sense of accomplishment, something to be proud of. I had flown with the United States Thunderbirds. My ride wasn't just for fun. It wasn't a reward. It was a tool to use my media opportunity to spread the word for the ambassadors in blue. I just appreciate uh, everything you guys do for the country. Uh, I know a lot goes into uh, getting you guys to on uh... And that's a wrap. Did you throw up? I did not. <laughs> did not throw up and I did not pass out. It was a great flight. It was a good time, flight of a lifetime. So uh, kudos to the Thunderbirds, United States Air Force, and uh, to United States of America. <laughs>